Good morning Year 5 Green Group and welcome to your Wednesday Math lesson. Can you record today's date and learning objective in your book please? Today we're going to interpret, that means to understand, bar charts, building on our work from last lesson. Can you record flashback 4 in your book and then do questions 1 to 4 and don't forget to try your time as well. Pause the video here and have a go. Then we'll look at your answers together. Let's see how you did. So which clubs does Tim go to? We need to find Tim, find the tick and it's art club and cooking club. So art and cooking. Write 14 in tally marks, 5, 10 and 4 more. Subtract 75 pence from four pounds and 16 pence is three pound 41 pence. What's 100 more than 382? Well, it's the hundred that changes. Everything else stays the same. So it's 482. And the time has gone past 12 o'clock, so it's 12. And how many minutes passed? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 12, 25. On to today's learning. We're going to understand the information given in bar charts. Let's get started. Let's have a look at this, linking to our skills from yesterday. What's this bar chart about? We can see from the title that it's about somebody's favourite pizza topping. So they've asked lots of people how, how, what type of pizza they like. I wonder if you can answer these questions. Number one, how many people prefer pepperoni pizza? Which bar shows you pepperoni? That's right, the yellow bar. Let's follow it up and across. And can you see it goes to 20? So the answer is 20 people prefer pepperoni pizza. Did you notice that it's going up in fives today? How many more people chose cheese than tuna? Which bars do we need to look at here? Well, we can see we need to find the information for cheese. So there it is. And we need the information for tuna. And here it is. And I need to know how many more people chose cheese. So I'm looking from tuna and going up to the top to find the difference between them. Remember at the side we're counting in fives. So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty more people chose cheese than tuna. Number three, how many people took part in the survey? That means how many people did they ask? Well, these people all voted for cheese, all these people voted for tuna, all these people voted for ham, and all of these voted for pepperoni. So we need to add them all together. This bar is at 30, add 10, 30 add 10 is 40, add 15, so that's 40, add 15 is 55, and add on 20 more, that makes, when we add them all up together, 75. Well done if you got that correct. You need these skills and we need to understand this language because we're going to be using it in our learning today. Let's have a look at this pictogram. We did pictograms quite recently, and this is showing the number of people who visit an art gallery. So here we have the days of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the number of visitors. Look at the key. Remember, that's the important part. One square is equal to 10 visitors. Can you remember what half a square would be worth? That's right, half of 10, which is Five. Use that information to help you now. What information can you find out from this pictogram? Pause the video now and discuss it with somebody else 
or just say it out loud. Let's have a look at what these children found out from the pictogram. This girl says, 30 people visited on Friday. Is she correct? Well, let's have a look. Here's Friday and each square's worth 10, 10, 20, 30. Yes, she's correct. This girl says, Saturday was the busiest day. Do you agree? Yes, because Saturday is here and it's got the most squares. So yeah, it was the busiest day at the museum. This girl says there were 85 visitors at the weekend. What is a weekend? Yes, it's Saturday and Sunday together. Let's check if she's right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 5 more, 85. That's correct. Well done. This boy, Amir, says there were 140 visitors in total. Should we check if he's right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 135 and 5 more is 140. That's correct. Did you find out any other information? Well done if you did. Let's have a look now at how we can take this pictogram and use the information to build a bar chart. Here is a bar chart ready to use. Do you think this is going to be useful? We have a title, Art Gallery Visitors. That's okay. At the bottom we've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's okay. But the numbers only went up to 12 before. And we can see Saturday needs to go up to 50. What would be a good scale up the side so that we make sure we go at least up to 50? Did you say the same? Going up in tens is a really good way because we can say 50 will fit. Now we've got to build our bars. Thursday needs 10, 20 and 5 more. Where would that be on here? 20 and 5 more is halfway between 20 and 30. Did you picture that bar looking like that? What about Friday? 10, 20, 30. So it needs to go up level with 30, but stand in the space for Friday. Let's have a look. Yep, that's right. Let's check Saturday. 50. Yep, that's correct. And Sunday, 10, 20, 30 and 5 more. 35 is halfway between 30 and 40. The bar stands in its space. Yes, that's correct. Well done if you thought the same. Here is Eva and she's built two bar charts. Pause the video and have a think. What are these bar charts showing us? Can you spot what's the same and what's different? Let's have a look at them. Did you spot that these bar charts are going across from left to right, not going from the bottom to the top? That's OK. Bar charts can do this. And we just shift it so the scales go across the bottom. Did you spot this one goes up in tens and this one goes up in fives? Did you spot that this one is for tennis matches and this one is for basketball? Well done if you did. Eva says, I scored the same number of points in tennis and basketball because my bars are the same size. Well, let's see. This bar for Eva and this bar for Eva are the same size, but are they worth the same number of points? Have a think. Did you spot what I spotted? This bar, Eva scored 40 points in her tennis match, but this bar, even though it's the same size, because the scale is different, Eva scored 20 points. So no, she's not correct. 
Eva scored 40 points in tennis and 20 points in basketball. Have a go at these questions. Who scored the same number of points in both games? And who, how many more points did Amir score in tennis than basketball? Pause the video and find the answers. Let's see how you did. So who scored the same number of points in both games? You can see here that Annie scored 25 points in a tennis match. And here, yes, she scored 25 points in her basketball match. So Annie scored 25 points in both games. Number two, how many more points did Amir score in tennis than basketball? Let's check in tennis. In tennis, he scored 50 points. In basketball, he scored 10 points. So how many more points was it here than here? 50 take away 10 is 40. So he scored 40 more points in tennis than basketball. Well done if you got that correct. It's your turn now to have a go at the questions that are on the rest of the worksheet. Have a look here. I'd like you to stick your work neatly into your book, please, just like shown, and answer the questions underneath each chart. In this one, you need to draw the bar chart. After you've done A, you must complete the chart by filling in the totals. Complete all the way to the end of your worksheet. Here are your extra challenges for today. You have these in your pack, so you stick each one in, and I've given you sentence starters to help you think about what would be the most suitable thing to do. For example, for this one, I think a bar chart would be more suitable because give the reason why it would be better than a pictogram. Look at it carefully and think why. On this one, Rosie and Jack have drawn bar charts to show how many people have pets. Rosie says, I asked more people because my scale goes up in larger jumps. Jack says, I asked more people because my balls are taller. Who is correct? Explain why. Here's a little bit to help you. You need to record this in your book next to it. They are both incorrect. You need to explain why. They asked the fill in the blank amount of people, but they have just used something scales on their bar charts. Then I want you to tell me whose one you prefer. I like Rosie's bar chart best because, or I like Jack's bar chart best because. Give me a really good reason for that. Good luck with today's learning. And I look forward to extending our learning tomorrow when we start to look at tables of information. Bye.